his uh, positions where oh. Dupree is. Oh, Flamey, please! Much needed headshots, but they need rounds. All the way back, only one Ford man in Kirby. Yeah, and again, he could be the early warning system. Two bad spray down for Kirby. Oh, he's got a third as well. And he sees the bomb. He has everything. He has complete information. He is omnipresent. Device spots everything. Finally, it seems like Astralis have guessed wrong, but can Na'Vi capitalize? They still need to get the bomb down, and they are quite lacking in grenades. Look at this rotation. Do they give a damn about that smoke? Perhaps not. They're charging straight back in. Shock and awe. They can't get the bomb down in this situation. They've got 10 seconds, and the, the CTs have got the angle, and all the kills. It's Edward alone. Six seconds. He has to find the kill. There's no time to plant the bomb. It's too late, Edward. You've got to get a kill. Jumpy's got to hide now. One second. It's too late. Oh man, James, he had a chance, he had a slight. Once you are seen, the Vice though, got a lovely angle, but can he find the heads? He can! Then there's another one, there goes Simple. It's 15 seconds again, the bomb needs to go down, they're just running into the crosshair, and he's delivering every single time! Four kills for the Vice, he wants the fifth, he wants the ace, not gonna get it, those C's! He will certainly be winning this round, I think, James. There shouldn't be anything that should go wrong from this point. No Ooh, missing. The double! <laughs> there you go, there you go, there's Simple. Yep. And one question for Simple is, to be answered in this tournament. Nice. Nice. Or to be, but they're running out of time to even try and pull a rotation at this point. Kyabi around the jungle area, and there's Device. He's been offered someone, and he has taken the sacrifice. 15 seconds, can Navi get the bomb down? It's still on a ramp. They're uh, abandoning ship that. Yeah, this, this is, oh man. How do you put yourself in this position? I mean, we, we kind of, we, they have that reputation, do Na'Vi, to play slow, but usually they, they're able to actually, just by the skin of their teeth, get the, the bomb down, they're going to have no opportunity to even try. From out of nowhere, Astralis have six rounds on the board, and you have to feel like they've been somewhat uh, gifted to them. They've been allowed back into this game. CT side to get those orbs rolling in as well. I, I wonder how they're going to use Simple. Simple has been really quiet this series so far. Yeah, Simple's just returned to his chair. Ooh. There we go. Some noise for Simple. We need to get a Davai chant going. <laughs> That'll be awesome. But he needs to keep his head in the game. Yeah, well, there's like a guessing game here between the two teams. Na'Vi, they, they realize there's no time. They can't mess around. They have to go for one bomb site. Flamey seems to have figured it out at this point. As they gravitate towards the A site, this is going to be hard. Flamey's been doing big stuff. So Simple needs to deliver as well as they start to bring in the pain from oh, Connector. Simple, can he face in time? The bomb's getting planted. He's oh. shot it down, man. They're going to win the round. They've stolen it from the clutches of defeat. That is disgusting. Do you <laughs> Maybe we should put Duncan there. <laughs> oh, we've got some French players in the crowd. Lovely stuff. Shocks. Tell us the Always shots. fighting for the most handsome man in Counter-Strike. This is not done just yet. This is not done just yet. Zipex can still do this. Where does he plant the bomb? He's going for the default play. Edward's got loads of grenades. He can enable his teammate. There's the first flashbang coming in. Auto sniper retake. Does it get dirtier than this? What if he has to trade? What if Seize goes down? So many questions. Zipex has taken his angle. He may have a shadow advantage and he may start with aggression. He's playing it down. He's got a two man spray down, but it's only one. Seize is going to trade. Edward goes down with the auto sniper. If it was the other way. So Gambit. Their opponents, one of the most exciting teams in the CIS region. They've got that awesome combination of old school veterans, young players betting in. Let's get to know more about Going through, them. you're going to get tagged down. You're going to get hurt. So a two-man advantage now for Gambit Gaming going into this anti-eco. Doja, does he spot him? Yes, he does. Peekaboo. Oh, no. He lets his teammate die? Dude, if I'm Zeus, I'm pissed. Jo That's right, Doja. Josia, what are you doing? Look at this, yeah, look at this, all of. <laughs> get out of my way, scrub. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, this guy. The back of the B bomb site alone is hobbing with the AWP. That's not a great position to be in when they still have that one Molotov on Twist. He's got to be very careful. Hobbit goes down, Twist with the AK, didn't even need the Molotov. All of Meister about to be shot in the back. Oh, what? He picks up the kill on Josha. How is that possible? Goes for another one. He lacks him. All of Meister. What a monster. Now it's down to a Dren. One versus two. And backup wasn't there. Well, Seuss was running in, but he got trucked by Twist. And now they line up for Hobbit. The spray down. All three kills. Harvard! What a star! Now oh. he's primed and ready now for Gambit to go onto the A site. 
Twist putting up a grenade, but they're not going to respect it. They want to see if they can go for it. Dennis, oh, how does that even happen? I could have sworn he was flashed before he peeked that corner and down in this hallway. They've got to kill Snacks just to get anywhere further on the map. He pops out. He's got no support in the duel, no trade potential, so he's got to get them on his own. He's got one. Oh. Reload, but they're both out of ammo. It's going to be a knife for Snacks to start it off. So many knives in this tournament and on this map as well. Rubino can trade on to him. It's Neo alone for a moment. Flank coming in as well from Bialy. He's got that SMG. That's going to cost him. As Config gets the headshot, finally a bomb down as well. And a one versus one favors Majisk. As Neo's going to go off, knows he can tap the bomb. Post plant position by default is in bathrooms. And he's expecting him to go to door, but he's not scoped in yet. He's trying to still pull him out. He wants to go for the quick scope. It's dead. He's got it. Neo, what a shot. Every time he delivers in these key situations, call as you like, Neo, the clutch master, four frags in that Resting round. No time is going to try and get in bathrooms. That flash actually caught deep because Snacks has to back away, but he on the AWP hits oh, two, yeah. a third now as well. And he's still got to line up for a fourth. Come on, Snacks, get the ace. It's right in front of you, and you've got all five. How many aces are we going to see in big tournaments from Snacks? Just to hold the angle, won't find the shot, but there's Pasha on the doorstep to hold it off. He'll go down, and then it's back to the pistol. They pinch in Rubino. In fact, oh! a nade. Oh, missed throw, but does oh! it go that far? I thought it might still get him. One HP, it almost did. Well, it's going to be Rubino. He might as well go for it. They Matt, at least it's still possible to win it without going into overtime. And here's the graphic. It's a sad tale, I'm afraid. One of our superstars of CSGO, 0 for 15. It does happen. It's MSL the chance. And door open inwardly. Snacks is going to sneak behind. Don't you dare. With a pistol, I think he's just gonna sit tight. Maybe hope, best case scenario, they come in toward A. 54 seconds. It's not like he's got a last second denial opportunity. Ooh, he's gosh. letting them, he wants nice. to let them here. He wants the knife too. Bonus money, 1500 for Snacks. <laughs> he's always clever, he's always <laughs> good timing from the M4. That saves Pasha inside of the site, and that means he can go to work exactly like this. Two oh. for him and through the wall. Cage and B goes down as well. What a shot from Pasha, four in total. Snack supporting Pasha's position in behind the box. Molotov's gonna bounce beyond that. Oh no, Pasha's, Pasha's hoping they overlook. Pasha's desperate to hope that they will, and they do! They line up, a flash through, Pasha's got three, hits the headshot on the fourth! A perfect play and a perfect fit. Three digits money, this will be a first round for them. It's a reset, nice shot by Snacks. Anything he does, that single kill forces reinvestment, but they keep three up. CT as well. They've got the map control. The connector smoke will come in. The Magus is waiting for them. He's been great so far. Nails the first headshot and two. Shut that down to a 5 on 3. Smoke out, covers Rubino at door. He'll get in the sight. But just has four. He gets back up on top of the platform. Bomb goes down. It's only Neo remaining. He'll take Rubino. And guess who he's got to duel with next? Looking for an ace in the pistol. Magisk, but he's not going to be greedy. It's, it's one versus two. He can't afford to be greedy. It was to one versus one, and Neo can still pull this back. He's going to go hunting elsewhere to try and get information. He's expecting Cajun now to be on the flank based on timing. And guess what? He certainly is hard to Neo's left. That Molotov won't do much. He's on the ledge. It does put him down, but he hits the ball, Where's the rest? Flashbangs time. Perfect, but Rubino. He didn't see Bialy, so he's still got position, which means they don't know he's there, which means he can spray them down. Add two for him. Add two for Pasha. It's four overall, and they just search for MSL. Neo finds him, and it's seven rounds versus Pro. finds Taz. It's late. He's got to get two. Neo's in front. Spots him with the Tech Nine. Headshot there. Looks for the other. Doesn't matter. Pasha's got it, and Furnace Pro will go through to the semifinals with a massive comeback against North. Have you ever seen anything like it? 12-3 in the first half, and VP. Never giving in, never surrendering, and just absolutely decimating their opponents in the second half there. 16-13 is the final score. That's so heartbreaking. It's gonna be on his mind for a long time. That is an emotional roller coaster. Those are definitely tears behind that shirt, and you have to feel for him. But Virtus Pro, experience as always, they fight back and they've got a semi. They've booked it, and it'll be either FaZe, who they want revenge against, or SK. We'll find out tomorrow morning, but that. They look so good right now. To battle back from that after a poor second map, they're still in contention as a favorite, no question. What a great quarterfinal. That's certainly the game of the day for me. Three. This is so difficult. Exactly. It's Alu and all Alu, but now it's just going to be Kiyoshima alone in a 1v2. He needed Alu to do more there. He needed him to stay alive because now it's a bit of a tricky situation. He's going to get caught in a crossfire within seconds. Can he find this shot on Fallen fast enough? Exactly. But what a shot! The 180 headshot on the far Kiyo. He's turned it into one way. He clutches it! That's how we started off. In this round.
Hmm. There is a bit of a mystery. Oh. We get into the exit. There we go. Keo zeroes in on Cold. Gets the wall bang shot. His head popped through the floor. That's not supposed to happen, but it did. Pose it out on Carrigan. He will be able to. Still a three on three. AZ's down, and that was well. Taco with the perfect timing. I think that actually saved Fox. Now the bomb is down, and Alu, he's still in kitchen waiting. That's such a powerful position. How are they going to make their way through? Oh no, they think it's the A bomb site. No, Unreal. this Unreal. is a disaster for SK. They're spending all their time, all their grenades. They're not realizing it. Now, finally, it's going <laughs> to dawn on them. We have been duped. Get played, suckers. That's what Kerrigan's thinking. Unreal. Oh, the shit. Little do you know, Taco's actually very good with the AWP. But Kerrigan's going to shoulder peek that. Now he has confirmation. He knows what's going on. And now we're going to see the real Come chops on. here. We're going to see the leader coming through with all of the secret smokes. Tell me he doesn't know that that grenade. It actually does that right in front of Taco. That's so sick! Unbelievable. Oh, sorry, Kyushima catching the grenade. Now he's going to be running all the way into connector, unfazed by the shrapnel. He's going to pick up the kill. Kerrigan with one on cold zero. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Kyushima, what are you doing? Taking down Fur. Fur. They are going to get the refract. Fur is still alive. Fox is down instead. Taco and now it's Rain. He gets one. Drops the bomb. Another one in. He just needs one more bullet. Taco's right there. Rain. He's already got the double and time is running out. Eight seconds. Taco has to run the gun with the UMP. He's almost got it. A couple more bullets. Three seconds. Two seconds. Rain is going to go down in the last possible second. There's another round here. I think for FaZe. I don't see them coming back from this one. SK. The bomb is down. But the re... Oh! What? Cold Sierra right through the smoke. The defuse one or two seconds away from being completed there now. They've got the kid, and Alu's gonna get it regardless. It happened the second time. Cold Sierra. Chance. They're not walking into a trap necessarily here. It's all gonna come down to where Taco hits with the timing. And what is this? Fallen shoots his own teammate in the back. A three on three, and the whole advantage is gone now for SK Gaming. I'm, just, I'm actually mystified. I'm actually just have no idea what that is. It's actually got a signature on it, too. What is this? It's like a spinning top that you don't, you don't even have to put it on the table. What genius came up with this? And it's, it doubles as a razor as well. Oh, is that a sig No, I don't think it that is. is. That is. That is a signature. All right. What is going on here? What is this thing? Does it make noise when he spins it? I'm fascinated too. I feel like a cat. I can't look That's away. what it's all about when you have that economy. Rain there to open up. They're looking to trade, but Fur holds his ground. And Fur with the triple. Shuts him down. Annihilates him. A quad kill for Fur. Give this man the ace. But it's not going to happen. Fallen will take down AZ. Oh. Well, I, you know, I, w I was about to ask, like, where are the SK fans in the crowd? But all I'm hearing right now are the Arby's fans. That's right. We got E-League fans here, first and foremost. And I'm sure there are some SK fans. Let's hear some noise from we, the We'll SK. get back to talking about those in just a minute. But let's talk about Astralis. We've already said, you know, Glaive, in-game leader. He's really transformed the team. Uh, how, let's talk about him as an individual. You know, because you guys seem surprised by some of his fragging performances. I've had lots of people hitting me up on social media saying they think Glaive could be one of the best fragging in-game leaders yep. in World Counter-Strike, if not the best. What do you think? Well, here's the thing. What a lot of people don't realize is when Glaive played in Heroic.